everybody. Today we're releasing the Digital Friends 2.0. This feature on Thingbox has seen massive improvements. The Digital Fence is designed to give you visibility over all the devices near your Thingbox within 50 feet, even if they're not connected to your Wi-Fi network. This feature acts as an extra security and troubleshooting tool for your network. See what devices have come near your Thingbox and set alerts to watch them. So, as a troubleshooting feature, maybe you have a device that you think is not working. In this case, the digital fence will allow you to see if the antenna of the device is actually not working. Um, maybe you're struggling with Wi-Fi performance. Here, with a digital fence, you can see if your Wi-Fi channel is clashing with your neighbors. Uh, in terms of digital presence, maybe you want to see that if your dog walkers stayed a little bit longer than they should have or your kids are having a party while you're away or maybe just someone is in your house that shouldn't be there the digital fence will help you detect presence in your home while you're away so here is the digital fence dashboard you can see three tabs in the bottom um, which you can see the new devices, the known devices, and the anonymized devices. When you click on the new devices, they are wireless devices which are in the proximity on your thing box for the first time. The known devices are devices which have been spotted by your thing box in the past. And lastly, the anonymized devices are devices which use an anonymization feature to mask all their identity. You can also filter the dashboard in different ways. So you can set the time, the type, and the range. The date you can put, click either now, today, last seven days, or last 30 days. So let's click on last 30 days. It's fetching the results right now. You can also click on the range. So you can either choose uh, very far, average or very near and this will be the signal of the digital fence. You can select if you want to see all devices or just new devices. So in this case we will click all. Now if you click on the book icon which is on the top you can also get a list of all the net known and anonymized devices for that period that you had chosen. So the devices will be tagged according to when they appeared. So for example, um, if, you, if they had only been seen on one day, such as a weekday, it will be say weekday here. If it was just a short visit and it was randomized, it will show it to you, um, it will be tagged. But you can also see if it was all week, and it has always been on, um, this will be on your network, it will also show you um, that tag. Here's how you can watch a device and set up alerts or exclude a device or SSID from your digital fence. So if you click on the book icon here, you'll get to your device list and you'll see your new known and anonymized devices. If we just click into a device like this one, which is an access point, you'll have the opportunity to watch it, exclude it, or exclude the SSID. So for this one, we'll exclude this SSID, and the devices that are attached to that network will also be excluded from the digital fence. So let's uh, check out this Apple iPhone here. And this device is actually excluded because it was attached to the the network. Um, so let's take this one here and let's watch this device. So you can enter a name like postman or neighbor and um, if you choose to watch this device it will be added to your Thingbox device list and you'll automatically start getting alerts when that device is in range. Um, let's choose one more here and we can exclude this device from our device list. Now if I go back to the dashboard here, um, there's some other ways that I can filter my device list. So list is updating, fetching the results, and let's click on this burger icon here and see how we can uh, filter the device list. So we have the opportunity to remove 
all or show or don't show all the anonymized devices. Um, we can remove access points, which could be access points of neighbors. You can also exclude the devices in your own network. And if we go to this one here, uh, we'll see the SSIDs that we just excluded. And if we go to the excluded MAC addresses, we'll see the MAC addresses of the devices that we've excluded. Um, so that's basically the digital fence in a nutshell. Well, everybody, thanks for learning about the Fingbox digital fence feature. To learn more, visit www.fing.io or follow us on Twitter at FingApp.